Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo and today I'm going to be creating a necklace using some goodies I got from my friends at BB Craft. This is what we're going to work around. Isn't that a beautiful butterfly? I love the pinks and the greens in there. And I got this along with a bunch of other butterflies and owls, which um, I'll, I'll leave a link up here somewhere where you can click to look at the unboxing of these goodies. But we're going to use this butterfly today. And I thought I would use some rose quartz. And I got 20 strands of gemstones and um, jade in, in my package. So I've picked some of the beads out from there. And this is what we're going to work with. I think they work really well with this butterfly. So now I need to get uh, some jump rings. I'm going to use some chain and I need my round nose pliers, my water, wire cutters, flat nose pliers. I may put some spacer beads in here too. Let me gather all my stuff up and let's create. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this, whoops, five miller, millimeter jump ring and I'm going to open it up and put this butterfly on it. This is going to be a very minimal, minimalist, simple piece. I actually like simple, I like simple designs and most of People that I know are more into the simple designs. And with a simple design, you can actually stack them up to make a statement. I just feel like you have more options when you wear minimalist jewelry. But anyway, we've got him hung up. And I've picked out some of my spacer beads here. And now I just need to get these off of their strands. And I'm not going to go all the way around. And probably what I'll do is I'll put uh, three beads and then maybe a spacer bead and just mix it up like that. I've actually made some over here. Let me show you done this one already. I still got to hang the chain. But see how I just did three and then a spacer bead? Here's another one. It'll be more like this. Three of one color spacer bead, three of one color spacer bead. Now let me string these up and then we'll hang the chain. So I have them all strung up. I think this looks like a very delicate piece. I really like it. With these muted colors, I think putting them in strands of at least three or five works best. If you were to mix them up, I don't know if you'd really be able to see the colors as much. They would kind of blend into each other. So that's why I have stations of different colors. Now what I'm going to do is put, um, I put a, little seed bead on each end just to kind of finish it off and then I'm going to use this clamshell bead tip tie a couple of knots to secure and uh, once I got those knots tied I'm going to feed the knot into the opening of that bead tip and then just close it up. If you've watched any of my videos, you've, you know that I, I do it a little bit different than most people. I'm going to clip this little sticky outy thing off. And then I just feel around to make sure nothing's poking out to scratch the skin. And if it is, just kind of poke it back in there. And then just give it a little gentle tap, tap, tap. And then we're going to do the same thing on this end. I'm 
Most people use these to cover up crimp beads, but I don't use crimp beads. I think this works out just well as well. Uh, now I need a special tool, so let me go get that. It's called a straight pin. <laughs> and I'm just gonna tie two knots. And then I'm gonna take this and just feed it into the opening. And make sure it's not too tight or too loose. If it's too tight, your beads will kind of bunch up. If they're too loose, you'll be able to see the beading wire, which I'm using a monofilament. Um, I like using monofilament. They, I have pieces of jewelry I've made 30 plus years ago that are still on monofilament that I've worn a lot. And nothing has stretched. They're all still intact. All right. Close this guy up, we'll clip it off, make sure there's nothing sticking out, and then we need to work on our chain. There we go. So I'm going to use this toggle clasp, and I measured to see how long it is because I wanted to make sure I cut my chain accordingly. I also measured this part. And then once I determined the length I needed my chain, I took some jump rings and hooked them onto the beaded part. Now I've got to hang the clasp. I've got to figure out where the middle is here. And as you're doing all your measuring, you have to can take into consideration, you know, your clasp, your jump rings, uh, links that you will be cutting. So keep that in mind. Anyway, we're going to cut right there. And I have to use I use these because this is stainless steel and I don't want to wreck my my nice wire cutters. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I've got two more jump rings, and these are four millimeter, as are these. So I'm going to open them up. I'm going to hang my lobster, I mean my um, toggle clasp on there, and then put it onto my chain on each end. Got my toggle hung, and so we are done with our necklace. I'll take some close-up shots and put them at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Mostly though, hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.